What we found evidence for learning particularly useful for um, is showing that um, mastery and depth of learning. As you input the evidence and tag it, it automatically goes into an assessment book. So this is for Year 1 National Curriculum in Maths. When you go into the evidence, you can see, you can scroll down and there's a whole range of evidence um, from assessment papers, uh, from working books um, to hands-on problem solving and by watching the videos back um, and looking at the evidence you can really see the depth of learning and whether they truly mastered it talking about their problem solving skills. It's been very very helpful um, having this technology this year because uh, Red Oaks have introduced or trying to work towards a mastery approach for maths. Uh, we've introduced new lesson planning to encourage the right language to be used and also it's been very important to make sure that the teachers have been using what we call a CPA approach which is concrete objects, pictorial representation, so images, anything the children draw and then that leads on to the more abstract understanding of maths. The technology has been brilliant for capturing those conversations that the children can have of them explaining what they've been doing, explaining their thinking, what their pictures mean. It's often very difficult as a teacher to make sure to get around the whole class and really understand that the children have understood the concept that's underlying uh, the maths that they've been learning. It's fantastic evidence um, of children's understanding. Um, it's very easy for some children to learn an approach or a strategy to maths. Um, with fractions, for example, without really understanding what is going on. We can really unpick how well they understand the concept of things such as fractions, so it's very, very helpful. In maths moderations, where we looked particularly at fractions, was the evidence was there that the children had really grasped what was being taught them, so that was, it was fantastic.